Hello and welcome to another update video about Rune. Rune rallied so far in three waves from the low here, um, 23rd of January low. So we have seen a nice reversal out of our support zone. Yeah, so quite impressive movement here. Um, and out of this descending wedge pattern that we discussed before. Okay, so it's or maybe it's rather a price channel actually. Um, but we had a breakout of the channel, okay, above this trend line here, which was fairly well defined, three touch points, breakout, nice. So um, we even had a smaller degree support zone here, which provided another potential entry point. Well, the question is what's going on here? So to me, I mean, um, if this is really the real deal and the breakout, I mean, to keep this an impulsive look, and I don't like the look of it at the moment, it needs to rally in the third wave to six dollars and seventeen six dollars and eighteen absolute minimum would be five dollars and ninety three in this third wave and on the way it shouldn't break below 483 if it breaks below 483 and that's very much consistent with yesterday's update i will assume that a three wave top was made that's why we still have the alternative wave four on the chart so if if we break below that level it's going to be difficult i mean again what we're tracking is ideally an impulse. So I could make the case here for an impulse, um, but only if it really turns to the upside very, very shortly. And then the third wave should complete in the region, yeah, around 593, 618. Further extension is always possible, but if it doesn't even get to 593, then I have to think about something different here. It is possible though, because remember, you know, the easiest the easiest um, money has been made here in this journey because this was a third wave. The fifth wave is typically not that aggressive anymore and the fifth wave can be an ending diagonal. So there are plenty of other options. I'm not saying we go bearish um, below $4.83, but I will have to assume that it's certainly not an impulse to the upside. So it will be more difficult. Um, but again, it all comes down to my to my comments um, around trading diagonals. You know, if, if there is a potential for a diagonal, which is always the case in a fifth wave, maybe don't trade it too aggressively. Don't seek for absolute precision. Um, basically, what I can tell you is that below 483, the next support is down here at um, $4.23. Why is that? Because we could then see an ending diagonal develop in this wave five. Obviously, it would be great if wave five was an impulse because that would be easy to trade, but I don't like this. I don't like the red candles that we see here. So it might turn into something like this. Wave one, wave two is basically unchanged, but the third wave is not an impulse. So it would then be an ABC structure because it's part of an ending diagonal. So this could be an A wave, a B wave down. And as long as we're holding, however, that last swing low here from the 5th of February, we could see a C wave. Then the third wave will be here. Then we get a fourth wave that could be quite deep again because that's often the case in diagonals and then the wave five would be another abc structure we could still reach our target which is why um we shouldn't try to trade it too aggressively these diagonals if it is one i mean let's see if we can turn around before breaking below 483 uh, but to be honest even already now um no, that's fine. It's it's all fine. 483 needs to hold. That's the 50% Fibonacci level of the current third wave distance. And a break below that is typically an indication that, yeah, we're not, we're not impulsive. So that could mean, okay, we have to be much more on the side of caution. That means it could either be an ABC top, which would be a corrective rally, and we break down and form this wave four again. Yeah. So then again, the orange box could provide entry points. Um, or it's, it's a diagonal pattern, which will be bit more difficult really to be honest yeah it's, it's going to be difficult so that's why i always say in these rallies regular profit taking makes sense and then any dip can make you exciting <laughs> uh, excite yeah can can uh, can make you feel excited not can make you exciting but can can make you feel excited about a dip um because that can then be an opportunity to buy in again right so um but i don't like the i don't find it clear at this stage so it would only get clear again, in my opinion, if we get back into the orange box and maybe then form another low in wave four, or if it might be worth, um, you know, looking at another entry, if we get a very deep pullback, just however, holding above the previous low, and then maybe uh, as an A, B setup in wave three, if that becomes clear, 
But again, at the moment we haven't even broken 483. I'm just discussing options here. And uh, as I said before, you know, $3.13, that's the main support level. Really anything can happen here. Um, we have to give it a little bit of space. It could come back into the support zone, but I would still call it fourth wave with one more high to come as long as we're holding 313. And then we need to think about, okay, what kind of structure is this? At the moment, we might still be looking at it as an impulse, but I think it's gonna get challenged if it doesn't turn around to the upside very, very soon, then it might turn into a diagonal or a larger ABC structure. And uh, each of these demand their own um, tactic, tactics and strategies. Um, and they are certainly much more challenging to trade than just an impulse. Okay, that's my update about Rune. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.